Hello YouTube, this is Reseller Rick and this is my second video. So uh, if you haven't seen my other one, uh, please go to my other videos, subscribe, comment, like, I really appreciate it. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how I package glass items. I don't sell too many glass items. I don't like glass items. Uh, they're fragile, uh, they're heavy, so uh, I generally stay away from them. However, I did score some really cool glass lampshades, and I've been selling them for a while. This is one of them. Uh, you will see this uh, and more information on it in my other video. So if you're wondering where I got it, how much I sold it for, all that good stuff, go check out my other video. This is simply going to be a short video about boxing up glass to make sure that it gets to that buyer without any damage. Because if it's damaged, uh, you know, you're out the, at least the shipping cost, even if you put insurance on it, unless you offer free shipping, um, if you, you're out the shipping cost the way I do it. So maybe I should rethink that, who knows? But anyway, like to get it to the customer, make the customer happy. This is a fairly unique lampshade. So let's see how to do it. First off, I like to use double corrugated boxes. These are much stronger than the single ones. Um, if you've done any shipping whatsoever, you will know that it doesn't matter who you ship it with. UPS, FedEx, the post office, they're all rough on packages. Uh, so I try to make my glass packages bomb proof because you know, I have had glass cleans before and it stinks. You know? and, and the worst part about that is that you know, you're, not, you're not satisfying that customer. I mean, you can take care of it with your customer service. And how you take care of that is very important. Uh, definitely keep your customer happy. But but in the in the long run, the the idea is to make money. And the best way for me to make money is to make sure that this item gets to them in one piece. So this is a ten by ten by ten box. It's much bigger than I really need for this. But I'm gonna make sure that it's wrapped really really well, and I have plenty of room for that. So if this box does happen to get crushed, it's got some, some cushion in there before it actually breaks the glass. So I like bubble wrap. Um, I prefer the small stuff. I do have the, the big bubbles for, for other items, but I really prefer the, the, the smaller bubble wrap for this kind of stuff. You can you wrap it many times and, and just it helps protect it better. And the bubbles are less likely to to break if, if a big bubble breaks then you know um, then you're more likely to have less padding and, and damage uh, and sometimes if, if it's really delicate like this is a pretty thick piece of glass it's not as delicate as something that would be a lot thinner uh, if it's thinner and it's you know really delicate I will double box it this one doesn't need double boxing um, but I'm gonna put this in the box it's been wrapped up very well I could probably drop this right here on the floor and it wouldn't break um, actually, let me uh, throw some tape around this thing. And just to make sure that the, the, when it gets jostled around the box, it's not going to come out of the uh, out of the bubble wrap. Yes, you can see here I'm using eBay tape. Um, another tip, which you know anybody who's been selling eBay for a while probably knows this, but if you don't, uh, if you have a basic store subscription, you get a twenty-five dollar credit to buy eBay supplies each quarter. And in that eBay supply store, you can buy tape. Now, I don't know if they, uh, they used to sell the three inch tape. I'm not sure if they do or not, but I know they still sell the two inch tape. I have both. I also buy their, uh, their eBay branded bubble mailers. I use a lot of those. And uh, I have a couple of stores and a lot of credits. So when I run out of that stuff, I, I've even gone so far as to buy the eBay tissue paper for, for packing, but I don't do that very often. So, so I'm going to put that down in there, and then I'm going to use some of these uh, air pockets. And once I get that in there, I'm going to tape it up, make sure it's nice and secure, and then I'm going to weigh it. The beautiful thing about using these boxes is that I already know the dimensions of the box. I don't have to write that down um, because I do use calculated shipping on eBay. Calculated shipping is going to 
give the buyer the the best bang for their buck. Uh, someone in I'm, I'm in Florida, so someone in Georgia is going to get a much better deal on on the shipping than someone in California. So I think that's a that's a, wow two pounds fifteen point seven ounces. So at this point, you have to make a make a decision. Um, are you going to call it two pounds fifteen ounces, or are you going to call it three pounds? And just to be safe, I'm going to call I'm going to call it three pounds. Um, three pounds is going to make it go up to the next level, but um, I, I I'd rather call it three pounds and be safe than than have the uh, post office call it three pounds. And and uh, sometimes what they'll do is they'll actually make the buyer the receiver pay the additional amount on that uh, on that package before they can accept delivery of it. And uh, it's probably not much, it might be two or three dollars, but the problem with that is, is that, you know, that, that's something that the, the customer should not have to do, should not have to deal with. Uh, and you wanna make sure you make everything easier, easier on the customer because you want them to come back and buy more. The person who bought this pink shade, they may just be testing it out. They may be saying, okay, I'm gonna buy one to see how I like it. And, uh, and they may want to buy three or four more. But if they if they have to deal with, you know, going down to the post office and paying two or three dollars just so they can pick up this package because uh, because the weight wasn't right on it, then they may be less likely to uh, to buy from me in the future. And I don't want that. So so three pounds, 10 by 10 by 10. And uh, I'll print out the label later and uh, it'll be ready to go. So uh short quick uh 645 video right here um again thank you guys for watching uh, subscribe uh, like comment any uh constructive criticism is welcome i appreciate it and y'all have a good day